And now that our glaze stripes, which are the vertical ones, have dried, we're going to go over them, first marking off the horizontal stripes. These are five inches and these stripes running this way will also be five inches. And I am using a low tack tape here only because if I use a very heavy duty um, blue tape, it might pull the glaze off, which is already dried. So now we're all taped up and we have the same thing as we did in part one. Try and block off these so you know that you are not supposed to glaze on this stripe, but glaze just on this one and this one. Back to our glaze and trusty roller. And again, try and be as consistent as you can be. Handwork is always inconsistent in its nature. So once you're pretty sure that you've got most of the glazing to the edges, you may reveal the tape. And there you have your plaid technique. These particular colors I definitely use in possibly a study or maybe an older boys room. And that's how you do the technique called plaid.